Hello, subscribers. Today I do a response video to the video that Abbas Lasalle, aka Don Corleone, aka Dr. Evil, have made to Nina and Randa. Um, he is actually Roaster and her sister. Uh, this video is the video where she's next to um, the king of propaganda, the master of slander, and the troll of insanity, aka vegan cheater, and one of two other YouTubers that I don't know, actually. Um, this is my reaction, what I see, what I think about it. If you know my videos, you know that I think that Abbas Lassalle have an at least narcissistic persona. Kind of disease, or being a psychopath or a one sociopath. So, enjoy the video! <laughs> Anytime someone, and I know this might upset people if they're if like if they have in their bio like ethical vegan, like they identify as that, that literally makes me cringe because I'm just like you can't just go vegan and then all of a sudden say, oh I'm a, I'm an ethical person and everyone else isn't living this ethical lifestyle. It's just like Nana and Randa there and the others that think that it is not okay to. For, for vegans to say that one vegan, when ethical vegan is some, they think either actually that it'd be not good to use the word ethical vegan because you know they're what they say. Um, but if you ask me, there's actually no problem. If I can imagine. When I was not vegan, that's not something that may put it away. And maybe I want to know, make their can make their interest of what they did, what they did. And also, politics don't work. Don't try to be a politician. Be honest, be real. That make the, that make the world more vegan. Politics, look to the whole history. Politicians and politics, they have nothing to change the moral pe population. We are always activists, people that speak up for where they believe in. You don't change people by only say that uh, um, only say that you uh, play political games. You don't change people by saying I've been an animal. Every kid, or I been one vegetable activist, or something like that. Like nobody lives a cruelty-free lifestyle, and it's a cruelty-free lifestyle. And I think it's kind of a little. It comes across as like condescending or like, yeah. like that I'm better, better than right. someone else. Yeah. It's like no, like yeah, it's not approachable and it's like it's not yes it appeals to people who are vegan. Yes. Vegans being more epic of vegetarians or meat eaters. Just like somebody does not rape is better than somebody does rape. Just like somebody that is not a murderer is better than somebody that murder. Just like somebody that is not a molester is some better than somebody that molests. We live in a capitalistic society. Awaken you, man. Supply and demand. You be directly responsible. Just like somebody to pay for somebody to be murdered. You do the murder not yourself, but you pay, and therefore you be responsible. Contact with the digital demi mon of veganism. I've seen people pretending that vegans were brilliant when they're not brilliant, when they're imbeciles, when they're writing his garbage. We all get into this game, this small town mentality of pretending. 
they're witty and charming and brilliant when they're not pretending they're humorous and intelligent when they're not and pretending they're beautiful when they're not when Nita and Randa are in Los Angeles sitting in the waiting room next to the other young women who are trying for that same part do you think they stand out as especially good looking no they're not good looking period of course he's say that because he is a little bit pedophile let me bring that to camera yes Abbas Lozell, Abbas Lozell. You can say so far or as you want, but the actually true is, yes, there have been just actually regular people, regular teenagers that do regular teenager things that attract regular teenager people on their channel that's what I understand or that's how they're being so how is they actually done? Abbas Lazelle? now is he also some narcissistic tra traits in your personality? again and if you don't see it, you'll be blind. Actually. A problem with that, man. You don't have a... Um, read maybe a lot of psychological books. But I have done, and therefore I can guarantee you that there is something wrong with his personality. We can pretend, because they're vegan, because they're vegan and they appeared in a Taco Bell commercial, you know, supporting the fucking meat and dairy industry and the fast food industry that we all supposedly demonize when they when they sold out for a few dollars to bro Yeah. Yeah, they're they're good looking and they're brilliant and they're leaders in the vegan movement. And this one other thing where I think that you've been actually a little bit insane. Because he and her sister have uh, done um, commercial and indeed for talk well but talk well have also so if you have say if I not I mentioned that we don't have to fight the holes in the whole industry and that we have to change the companies so how is the retard a boss and so she have done um commercial for a vegan option of Taco Bell so where is the where is the logic in your radiation? inexplicably unforgivably idiotic it's not limited to the bottom rung of part-time bikini models and weight loss gurus it's really not uh? and with veganism being dominated by people who I find Inexplicably, unforgivably idiotic, it's not limited to the bottom rung of part-time bikini models and weight loss gurus. It's really not. Indeed, that's true, a buzzer shell. And you don't have to say it again. Because I've say, heard you say a lot of times. Veganism is not only in bikinis and swimsuits. But veganism is also not only a bunch of big jerks in monkey costumes uh, rashing each other. Veganism is ag against animal exploitation. Veganism is not about being politics or acting like a politician or acting like a shit cunt or acting like one gossip like vegan cheater and you veganism is again is actually do something for the animals no matter how you do it but it's stand up for you believe it Stand up to against injustice, stand to let the status quo just like it be. No matter how you be, 
no matter how you act, there will always people be that horn holds your torch. I mean, Gary Yarovsky, if you search the history on this channel, uh, one of the most popular videos, or maybe two of the most popular videos, were the, the critiques of Gary Yarovsky. Because so it was saying things that a lot of people needed to hear in those videos. Some people knew about the problems with Gary Yarovsky and were in denial about them, and some were totally unaware of it and were shocked. <sighs> Gary Yarovsky, I don't know, I wouldn't hesitate to call him an idiot. Again, I'm, I'm biased in his favor. I recognize that in a lot of issues his, his heart is in the right place, that he's trying to make the world a better place. But he's not just a little bit stupid, people. He's not. Gary Francione of... So, if you call Gary Yarovsky an idiot, you bust Lazell, then I have to say you did. I think you've been an idiot, and also some very big psychopath. If you've been against Gary Yarovsky, do you have no logical integrity and no logical sense? I bust Lazell. Then I say you, you've been most likely also say in the time of uh, let me play in the time. Let me go back to 1945. Uh, I've been captured with a lot of Jews in Nazi concentration camp, Germany. Support the pacifists, the allied forces that go in Nazi concentration camp Germany and kill the Nazis in order to save the Jews or want to hold the pacifists stand fast on the idea of Dandy. I admire the Amalava a lot. But the Adamra have lost his mind in this part. Because the great pacifist Dandi say that the Jews have to commit suicide to raise the conscious of the world on their planes. That is how why pacifists can take it too far. So can violence. But pacifists, extremely 100% pacifists, if you ask me, they be incapable of using logical points. All the pacifists that claim to be for pacifists or vegan rights or animal rights in stands that their arrest one of my biggest heroes, Gary Rossi, by cut sentence of cut sentence from him online. He sent out their go to his website. I read the whole essence. 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 In once, he stands bits and pieces online. Stop with this. Instead of that, fight. Let's we fight to channel our channel. Not and find we that we fight all injustice, not only human injustice, but also animal injustice. Let we instead that we play stupid, play smart, all vegans against the people that pay for the murder, rape, and torture of other living beings. This industry has been unjust. They've been not justifi justifiable. 
military and hack industries that being the most biggest terrorist industries on the whole planet. Who oh well, oh well, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X not being agree on the kind of tactics that are being used to end segregation. When Ask to stop Malcolm X radicalism. He replies, Malcolm X stops when racism stops. Let me now I ask you the pacifists go the people that rest Let's re give them the same treatment and say if the arm, if people say the arm use violence, Gary Roski support violence, but don't do it. Let me say the animal liberation front supports economic sabotage uh, let's give them the same treatment that, uh, that Martin Luther King give to Malcolm X and say this stops when speciesism stops Gary Yarovsky stops the arm stops the animal liberation front stops when the meat, dairy, and egg eaters accept their mistakes, accept, accept their wrongs, accept that it's not your right based on your traditions, your beliefs, and your habits to deny animals their freedom so that you enslave them, rape them, torture them, and exploitate them. And that is not their rights. Let there be no excuse to veganism and let her have to make a plea and move forwards.